Hey guys, welcome back to Black Clover Mobile. In today's video, we're talking team power and how to maximize your team power as a free-to-play player. I'm gonna talk about this from a free-to-play perspective. I think spenders should be fairly similar. There are a few caveats for heavy spenders, but free-to-play and light spenders, most of these things will apply. Uh, and we're gonna go through what I've done personally to get my free-to-play team power to 170K uh, and what I am gonna to continue to do moving forward, trying to improve my units and stuff like that. So the thing we're gonna start with is going to be the early game which i know a lot of people are through but it's just a tldr basically if you're a new player early game focus on the campaign campaign gives you a lot a lot of experience uh, and good stuff there should be enough people with progressed accounts that you can get support heroes to basically carry you through the entire campaign which is really nice so campaign main focus then besides that early that early days your first focus wants to be farming bond now to farm bond uh, i did mine mostly in world one forest near kicker because that that is where I could get the best value of uh, Bond for my characters because it was the easiest stage for me. Depending on your character's built, a different one might be different. I normally like to say go for the food ones. Uh, this one gives you materials to build... Um, to make more bond food, which is gonna you know allow you to just make your bond progression faster. Otherwise, you can go to another one uh, in World Two that gives you the the materials to make gear food, which then you'll use later on. It doesn't matter, but basically, if you look at it up here, this is how much bond you're gonna get. Just go to the different ones, find the one that you can uh, farm with your team the best that gives you the most bond, and just go ahead and farm that. Like I said, I recommend doing the food ones though, so you can get some food, and that's pretty much it. And what you want to be doing with that is bonding your characters up to level 10 because level 10 is where they unlock the capabilities to get uh, to LR. And that is what you want to do. You want to focus on bond to level 10 and then progress through campaign. Uh, and once you've done that, you should be pretty much have enough experience to get your first team of four characters up to level 80 LR. That is your first point of call, level 80 LR. Now, obviously the other thing you're going to have to do is rank up your characters, but that's pretty self-explanatory. Just go ahead and rank them up. So moving on past that, what do we do next? Next is when I start looking towards gear. And for gear, it, there's two things you can do. Well, there's one thing there's one thing you want to do, but I want to go through the uh, the caveats with it. So ideally, you want to get to be able to get some LR gear. Just note for me, 13 and 14, I found harder than 15. So just keep that in mind. Now, this is if you are going for blue. Blue is the blue team uh, and red dungeon is the path I took. It's the one I've recommended to people. Uh, if you go another path, I'm not too sure on that exactly. But we do have this feature. So if you're struggling, if you got your full team at level 80 LR, and you still can't do 13, 14, or 15, it's okay. What I recommend doing is playing this a bit of a stall game. It's so tempting to burn all those stamina uh, chests that you get in your inventory straight away. But if you're struggling, what I would recommend doing is, even if you can only clear, ideally you can clear this stage because it gets you the better gear, level 10. If not, you can even drop down all the way to level seven, which hopefully most people can do. And because we have this pity system, what you can do is you can just every day come in and do your five battles uh, on the lower stage and that will get you probably two to three UR pieces per day and after about three days hopefully you've got enough gear then to allow your team to be able to go for that LR gear but that is my one tip so you don't burn all your stamina on useless farming is focus if, you, if you're still farming UR gear stages meaning 12 and earlier just wait just hold out on the stamina grinding uh, and basically just get take advantage of this thing which is essentially giving you an increased drop rate of your UR gear on UR stages, increased drop rate of LR gear on LR stages, but you can get yourself kitted out in some pretty decent UR gear from this system in a few days that should get you to farming LR gear. That is my tip on that one. So now that we move past that, now that we're in the stage of farming for LR gear, what do we want to focus on? For me, the, the cheese system that I used, uh, if we go over to the hideout, is I farmed stage 15. I used all my stamina on it. Then with my excess, uh, with my excess gear that I got that I didn't need, I went over here and I went to create gear. Now, what you can do is, I don't think I have it. Oh, I might have enough here. Okay, let's see if we can do it. So what you can do here is create gear. Now, when we go to create gear, 
later on, you probably won't be doing this because once you've got your 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 main team all kitted out in pretty much mostly LR gear, you don't need to do this as much. And then you can start dismantling that gear so that you can get upgrade stones to upgrade your good gear. That's what I would recommend doing. But early on, this is in like this is a crazy value. And what I always go for is these ones. Now it's because personally, all my drops have been HP and defense pieces, which sucks. So I've been only crafting for attack and magic attack. And let's face it, uh, I've got my Lotus who wants magic attack. I got my Yami who wants attack. I got my healer who wants magic attack. And the only unit that wants defense is Mars up until the point, but he's already fine. So I've been crafting for these. You can get the, the six block pieces or you can get the four block pieces, but I've been purely crafting for the attack and magic attack, attack ones. Then what you do is, uh, what, what my strategy is, I just go with uh, foddering away uh, basically two, let me find yeah that, two UR pieces of gear and the rest being SSRs. Uh, so two URs and five, uh, sorry, and eight, but one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, eight, <laughs> eight SSRs. And I know that may sound like a lot, but trust me, once you start farming, you get a lot of these pieces. Uh, and then it gives you a 30% chance. Just note that if you fill this whole thing up with LRs, it is still like the max chance at LR you can get is 30%. So it is a risk. You could craft a hundred pieces and never get an LR on average it works out to be 30 percent so you know if, you, if you're crafting 10 pieces you should get three lrs and i find this to be quite nice uh and also if you get the, the thing is in this early stage you know maybe the urs make your you get some urs that increase your team and then make you farm easier as well but you can do this and you can hit craft and let's see if we get an lr okay we got a ur so like i said not, not always going to get it, but you can do that and you can craft some pieces. Now, me personally, I did that for an example, but I'm at the stage now with my gear where I'm pretty happy with my gear. My Yami only needs one more piece. Uh, my... Uh, wait, she doesn't matter because I don't use her in PvP. Uh, that's going to be my uh, Mars, and that is my Lotus. So I'm pretty well set up with LR gear. And once I got myself to a decent point of LR gear, that's when I went into Vanessa... And then I crafted some accessories. Now with accessories, I just do the full set uh, because if we do these ones, let me just slap some pieces in to show you guys. Uh, if we go this, you, you can see you can choose the stat. Uh, you can choose like the, the, the slot and the stat, but it's going to cost you one of these universal pieces. So don't do that and waste things. Just go in here. You get a random piece with a random stat. It is what it is, but for free to play, this is where whales change a bit because whales can target the pieces they want. Uh, but this is where I went in here and all I did was feed all SSRs because if you feed all SSRs, which I don't have enough, uh, it's going to give you like a 5% chance. Basically, all SSRs gets you to here and it gives you a 5% chance that you are. I'm pretty happy with that. I was just trying to fill in some blanks in my slots. So if we look over here into my mages uh, and we jump into my gearing, you can see that I've gotten Yami two pieces. Uh, I got Mars a couple pieces. I got Lotus a couple pieces. And I have not yet got a healer piece. So that is where I'm at. And now I am stopping crafting the... Um, no, sorry. Then then I stopped and then I went back to farming gear to trying to get the uh, the gear, the LR gear crafting. But now I'm moving back to uh, crafting for those accessories to fill it out. Because like I said, I'm pretty well geared on LR gear uh, and that's what I'm looking at. Now, the next thing that I want to mention is when you craft the LR gear, it is going to give you just random sets. So you'll see I got some scuff sets. I always choose the right main stat on an LR piece of gear over having two URs of a broken set. That is my priority uh and that's the way i go about it i just want to get those lrs and then we move on now moving past that the next thing we do to power up is upgrade the gear now for me all my lrs i take to eight because it's fairly cheap then ones that are on a decent set with decent subsets i will take to 12 so this isn't the optimal attacking set there is the better attacking set but it's still okay and it's got attack and magic attack subs so i'm pretty happy with that one i took that one to 12 this one it's the speed set so that's the ideal set it had it, it had bad substats to here i rolled it to um eight and got the crit damage so i'm like okay let's roll this again see if we can get another good substat and i did so that's the one i took to 12 this one once again it's a good set it had a good crit rate substat unfortunately we got shit substats but those are the ones i take to 12 because the upgrade materials for 12 are much more scarce than four and eight so that's what i looked at and that's pretty much my priority for gearing and that is where you get a ton of power for your account is through the gearing system now 
before I went and, and now before I go any further, what I'm doing is talents. So basically I went through, uh, I got decently geared, then I crafted some accessories. Then I went back and up, tried to get a bit more better gear. And now I'm at the point where I am farming talents. So this is where I start unlocking talents. Now you can unlock this slot by unlocking all of them. Only do that on characters that you think you're going to use long term. I don't think I'm going to use Yami long term, but he's my main DPS now. So I'm unlocking the two pieces on each one. Uh, and then... I'm going to shift my other characters. As you can see here, if I go to my Lotus, I've already started working on his talents, getting his attacking talents ready. Uh, and that's the way I do it. Now, Lotus is a unit I'm probably going to use longer term. Same with Mars. So I'll eventually unlock more of their talents. And then as we get new DPS units and stuff like that in the future that I want to use longer term, I will unlock all of them. But this is where I'm starting to unlock talent talents because talents are giving us some decent amount of power. Moving on past that, obviously enhancements. So if you look at like players with those mad, insane power levels, dupes make a big difference. As you can see, dupe one is going to give him plus 400 power. Uh, if we go to Yami here, because my Yami is at dupe one, and we go to enhance, you can see the next one's going to give him 1300. So you start getting like a pretty large power boost uh, from the dupes. So just keep that in mind. But that's something obviously you can't control. The next thing I want to talk about is skill ups. So skill ups, I, I go through and I put like the, the little skill ups on the main abilities I use on my damage dealer. Uh, I, I normally like focusing in on effects, but for the lowest skill up, I'm happy just to get that little bit of extra damage out of my damage dealers. Uh, but if we go over here to my Mars, these are the kind of um, uh, abilities that I prioritize. Ones that are going to give me extra activation rates on things that can be pivotal in battle. Yes, damage is pivotal, but once again, I mentioned that Yami is one that I'm not going to use forever, so I don't want to invest. I feel like I'm going to get a longer term use out of something like Mars, so I want to get those percentage increases up. Uh, same with this one where I've gone this because when I use this one as an AoE stun, having a 50% chance to stun is going to be better than the 40% chance. So those are the kind of skills that I look to upgrading. And that pretty much covers everything that I have to go through. There is one last thing that is going to give you extra power and that is going to be the level of your characters. Now I mentioned this in another video. I don't recommend as free to play using uh, any of your experience potions on characters that once they're level 80 LR save them for your next character to build and as you grind through stuff you will just get those levels as you can see I pumped them in I, I pumped all the levels into my Yami to get uh, the mages path achievement uh, and now he's at level 100, but I'm still using him to grind. So he's just not getting the experience he otherwise would have got. Whereas these guys, instead of going from 80 to 100 instantly, they're already at 88, 89, and 90 because I farm with them. So that is the one thing I would say about leveling up. Yes, it does give you power, but I wouldn't be doing it free to play. I'd save it for the next unit that you look to building. And that is the process that I go for. But... Hopefully that goes through everything I've done, everything I plan on doing uh, when I look to upgrading your power as a free-to-play player. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.